halfway through the Biden presidency, these first four years, and it seems like even Vice President Kamala Harris's closest allies have lost confidence in her. The New York Times, of all publications, interviewing dozens of Democrats who, quote, said she had not risen to the challenge of proving herself as a future leader of the party, much less the country. Even some Democrats, whom her own advisors referred reporters to for supportive quotes, <laughs> confided privately they had lost all hope in her. One prominent Biden fundraiser adding, quote, I can't think of one thing she's done except stay out of the way and stand behind Joe Biden at certain ceremonies. Jimmy Fallon hosts Fox Across America and Fox News Radio and Fox Nation and joins us right now. Hey, hey, hey. I, you know, it's one thing when they say, hey, you want a good quote about Kamala Harris? Call these people. Yeah, they, yeah. they called them, uh -huh. and it's like, oh. We can't no. think of anything nice to say. <laughs> well, make no mistake about this. This is a trial balloon yeah. in the sense that they always float this stuff to the media to see how it'll play before they decide to make a decision. But like all balloons, Biden isn't in a rush to shoot this one down. <laughs> the knives are clearly out for Kamala Harris, who has been a disaster as VP. And make right. no mistake about that either. I'm kind of a disaster, uh, an expert on disasters because I'm a Knicks fan. But here's the problem, <laughs> okay? Because they've tried to defend her and insulate her against criticism, right. saying she's a historic first. It's her race or her gender, but there's no race or gender that we would accept being this bad at their job, okay? Mm -hmm. She was tasked with being the border czar, right. and the only time she made a run for the border was when she went to Taco Bell, if we're being honest, but what did she do? She, she conducted a study on the root causes right. of illegal immigration. And? Understand, she blamed it on climate change, okay. but understand this really quick, okay? If you have a border problem as we do, it is a now problem. Your house is on fire. If you call the fire department, you don't want to hear, well, you're in luck. We're going to do a study on the root causes of house fires. You want a now solution. She hasn't offered one. There you go. Well, don't you think it is curious that it, uh, we're talking about the New York Times, yeah. of all publications, mm -hmm. which for a lot of people yes. is like the DNC yeah, yeah. in-house newsletter. Uh -huh. So for them to take shots at, you know, they've also taken shots at Hunter Biden. Yeah. So it's kind of like, okay, uh, Joe's on the list, Hunter's on the list, and now Kamala is it would seem like they would like to change the page and put somebody else in there before Joe Biden. It, it, supposedly, Joe Biden's thinking about, should I run or should oh. I go? And now it's kind of like, well, if you don't run, she shouldn't run either. There is no world where she runs, and we know this, because she ran once before in the Democratic Party. And when she dropped out, she was polling behind ISIS, okay? <laughs> People try to make this a Republican thing. Oh, they're begging on Kamala Harris. I'm like, the Democrats hated her more than we did. She was at 1%. She didn't even make the Iowa caucuses. So that's her biggest challenge here, is she has lost the print wing of the Democratic Party. If the Times goes, you're gone. And as they say in Democratic circles, where there's smoke, Elizabeth Warren's trying to send a signal, but the point is, it's not good for Kamala. You know, I think it's probably good for Pete Buttigieg. You, you look at these polls, and he's always, he's, he's up he's, there where Biden dude, is. Dude, he is failing up his whole career. Think about this. He is the in charge, okay, of transportation. He started out with the nickname Pothole Pete <laughs> and managed to become transportation czar. Generally speaking, Pothole Pete doesn't get in charge of the roads. This is like we took summer school Sal and made him secretary of education. So don't doubt Pete Buttigieg. We don't think a lot of him, but you're right. He keeps failing up. Well, think about this, though. Joe Biden, uh, we have heard, uh, you know, through leaks and stuff like that, in Democratic circles, he's all in. He's yeah. going to be running. So you don't have to worry about Kamala Harris. The big question is, if she is regarded so poorly, mm -hmm. will she be the vice president next time around? Or will suddenly she say, you know what, I did my best on the border. Pete, you try. I don't think she would hand it off. I think she might be politely asked to hand it off. Because Biden is adamant on the fact that he's running again, because he says he's the only Democrat that can defeat President Truman. So I'm, <laughs> I tell you. All right, Jimmy, thank you very much. Great take on all the news. Thanks. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.